Hello Phil, how are you my friend? I hope that you're having a great time during your vacation. Uh, so well now I know what you are uh, referring to when you talk about unisons. You, you were saying unison bands and now it makes sense. Um, and well, this work very similar to the standard bands but in this case you have to obviously use two fingers and one of these fingers has to stay fixed in the initial position so for example the first band there is on the fifth fret of the third string here is a full band so you have to reach the, the pitch of the seventh so okay but it's, it's also the pitch of this third fret on the second st string sorry so you have to bend with your third finger and keep your third finger fixed there and you will use your second finger to help the third one so something like this okay so you have to if you are used to bend using also the first one to to support the, the the third this time you you will have to get used to this okay and besides that you have to keep the finger fixed there okay so this is the idea this is what you have to practice you can start just by bending with these two fingers there Okay, and once you are comfortable, you can add the... Right? You have to be sure that this third finger is not muting the second string. Because... And also you have to be sure that you are reaching the same note. So it sounds like a unison. And then the other one is here in the in the tenth fret is easier. So again, you bend with these two fingers, and then you can add the right. I'm also muting the first string with this finger there, so we don't have unwanted noises. And as always, I'm using the tip of this third finger to mute the fourth, right? So can, I can also rake a bit. Okay, that means to, to add some extra noise that gives this a rocker sound. Okay, so that's the idea. It's very similar to bending, but you have to keep the first finger fixed there. This sounds really cool. Very rocker. Okay, bye bye, mate. Oh, no more shortcut for stopping the video. 